Um, hello guys, greetings. Um, I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on how to um make the pony thing because the video's got a lot of attraction. So yeah, and many of you wanted to see. So I will show you guys. Okay, so first you wanna make a 2D animation. And then you um, have to draw your sketch. You can add like a uh, image as planes if you want and then draw over it. Or like you don't have to draw over it, but like you know what I mean. Um, I recommend like adding a material for each different kind of color so you can like swap it out easily. So you click the little material plus and then you. Know, and then just select your color and then boom and then you could just change it easily so that's what i do okay so next i added like a layout so I can like move around and stuff and do stuff. And then um position it, position it to the front. That's just my own preference. And um I had another lover grease pencil, could be stroke blank, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um and then you name it whatever part you want to work on first because they gotta be in separate parts like each di different part is gonna move on its own so it's gotta be like separate things you know so i'm na and then in this one the head and then i am going to draw the head bit so i'm um, gonna add another material for the like the line and then the uh, coloring it doesn't have to be perfect now you can add different layers and you know like one layer for the line uh, and then one for the coloring that's fine you can do that Now I'm adding another material for the uh, color, so I un uncheck stroke and then check fill, so I can like fill like that. And it's just easier sometimes to do it like that, but yeah. Okay, so now I am adding more uh, grease pencils for every single different part I want to move. Now I don't need to create a new, new material. I click the little uh, symbol right there and then you can select your materials you already have. So, yeah. So you just click that and then select whichever one you want if you want to remember what they are you should probably name them but I don't think I did here so yeah I just want to say, if things start like overlapping weirdly, it's okay because we're gonna fix that later, so don't, don't worry. You should probably also make things overlap, like make them go into other parts slightly. So like when you move them, there won't be like a gap, you know? I don't know really how to explain it. Okay, here I'm just duplicating the parts and moving them around so they're in the correct position.
Okay, so if you go to this tab and then tool and then origins, um, what you have to do, you have to move the origin right here to where it's going to move. I will, I can make a video, I'm gonna show a clip to show you how, like, it, like, it works, you know? And it was a little broken here, so I had to try and fix that. Okay, now in layout object mode, you turn a little, and now you have to like move them so they overlap correctly. It's like, let's make the head go out a bit, and then we'll bring stuff like the hair in front of the head, but then we'll have the eyes like slightly behind the hair so they overlap correctly. See? Like that. So just do that with each part until it looks right. So now we're gonna make it so it can like move correctly. Cause if you move the body right now, nothing's gonna happen, right? It's just, you know. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the one we want to parent something else to. And then you we have to hold click on it, hold shift, then press right click, parent, and then object. And then if we move it, it moves correctly. So what we do again, I'll try again, click on it, hold shift, click on the thing that you want to parent it to, then left click parent object, and then it moves fine. So just do that with everything else, and yeah. Okay, now we are done, um, I'm sorry this isn't the best tutorial ever, I'm not very good at explaining things, but as you can see everything moves correctly now, um, I hope this helps at least a little bit, though this is definitely not a beginner tutorial because I can't explain well, but yeah, uh, I did animate with it and recorded it, but I lost the recording, so that's my fault, so... Yeah, now I'm just saving it, and yeah, I'll play the animation that I did for it now. Okay, so that was the tutorial. If you want to, if you want me to show you how to animate it, uh, I could do that. Also, I can show you how to make it squishy. 
because I made another one that can like s stretch and squish and I can do that I'll show you a tutorial if you want to so just comment if you want to if you want me to show you how you animate it and how you make it squish and I'll link a video under this in the description to show you how it squishes. I'll link the one that I used to learn. And um, here's the animation with the with the squishy one.